Good day. So I'm just doing messages for today really quick. Hope everyone is doing okay. Messages for Divine Feminine. Messages for Divine Feminine. I love you, but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me. I've committed to someone else because they don't challenge me. I feel like I abandoned you and myself when we broke up. I want to reconcile. I should have believed in you. You always had my best interest at heart. Messages for Divine Masculine. I have to shuffle like this because my deck is getting bent. All right. Messages for Divine Masculine. Would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still want me? That's from Divine Feminine. So you guys are definitely like mirroring each other here. No one ever loved me again the way you did. I never appreciated you until you were gone. Wow. Definitely missing each other. I'm coming to you with an offer. Will you say yes? When I offer you my hand, will you take it? I settled for second best because I don't deserve you. Oof. Wow. All right. <clears throat> ironically enough like I said it looks like you guys are marrying each other they settled for someone you settled for someone very interesting well not interesting but you know it's cool to see that come out in the cards anyways all right messages for divine feminine ah this is the last deck I'm using messages for the divine feminine Messages for the divine. I wish I could share my good. Oh, I wish I could share my good news with you. I lost myself for a little while. I'm becoming a better person. I hope that you can forgive me one day. Very beautiful energy. Messages for divine masculine. Messages for divine masculine. We both know I am not the one for you. I'm afraid to contact you. I remember every detail of that day. I want to be more than friends. What day? This is when things get crazy and I start having longer readings. Let's not do that, but we're going to ask what day. What day is Divine Feminine referring to? She remembers every, he or she remembers every detail of that day. What day? What happened on this day? Better yet, what happened on this day? There was a love offer made about growth and reunion. There was a love offer. This was faded. This was a commitment. So what happened? Why didn't this... Someone was creating self-love. Someone was still engaging. Someone was creating self-love on their path, and the other one was still engaging in toxic patterns when this occurred. That's why they didn't. Yep, somebody was still believing false beliefs, so that's why you guys did not come back together. That's why this did not happen. This was the offer that was not taken. Wow. Yeah. This person continued to spy on you and watch you grow. Really? Crazy. That's crazy. So what did they feel about this other person's growth as they watched them grow? They were trusting in divine timing, but they were confused. You confused them with your growth. Why? Why were they confused? Confused about 
some kind of karma justice. Could have been confused about a divorce, confused about a breakup. This was something that you guys were reflecting on each other, reflecting with each other, and they were like confused. They were suffering from their past. They were missing you. Something. This karma balance justice was being reflected, and they were very confused by this. They were like, what is happening? So what is the outcome of these two people or these however many people? <laughs> Feminine energy is going to have the courage to take action towards someone who was being cold and detached or maybe they were being cold and detached. She's going to have she's going to take action to get away from this energy. Yeah, vibrating higher here. Yep, being abundant. Have the courage to change and express their truth here, really focusing on their energy, repressing in any toxic patterns, actually regretting being toxic as well, but hopefully Divine Feminine can release this. Taking action, understand, I feel like Divine Feminine is coming to an understanding of their toxic patterns, that they were comfortable acting this way, and they're taking some kind of action here that is gonna cause a storm they're embracing their feminine, so being more nurturing and compassionate instead of toxic here. Yeah, could be building um, their family, focusing on their family home and commitment. Their ancestors are guiding them to do this. This is, I feel like this situation here is really showcasing their self-worth and expectations. It's like they could be connected to someone here who they're like, this is what I expect, a family home and commitment, and if you can't give this to me, then we're not we're not going to be together we're closing out those karmic cycles we're no longer doing third parties we're no longer doing sex calls we're no longer doing things that trigger us or conflict us we are completing cycles we know our self-worth and what we expect we're creating stability and we're releasing negativity they're like yes keep going we're releasing doubts some of you may be going into reunions with others to form a solid foundation. Could be with an earth sign that who you are completely obsessing about and your intuition is leading you to this person and you're listening. Um, others are focusing on your family, home, and commitment that you have now, and it's leading you to stability. Yeah. Some of you are at a crossroads. Others, you're staying right where you're at. They're saying, yep. <laughs> Memories could be deceiving some of you. You're only focusing on the good instead of focusing on the negative control aspects of this person. I feel like somebody here is memori memorizing, no, mesmerized about some type of memories here, but these memories are deceiving you. This person was very controlling, but you're not wanting to think about that. You're only thinking about the good memories. That's, whoa, that's deception. So you're looking at this person as your wish fulfillment. And this is going to change. This will change. Um, some of you are going to be in union with the person you're with. Others, you are going and traveling towards someone else who you're going into union with. You're going to have clarity over this, over who's who and what seeds you're planting, right? At the end of the day, whenever you get confused, all you have to do, yeah, karmics feed your ego. That's what they're wanting to tell some, some people. Karmics feed your ego. Emotion is your life purpose. Some of you, there are water signs that are your life purpose. You're getting messages in your dreams about this. Some of you, there's some false beliefs here that you believe that are not true because of your ego. Your ego is feeding your karmic patterns. Your ego is feeding your karmic, your uh, toxic traits here. That's what the ego does. The ego is like, no, listen to me. No, that's wrong. Okay, so that's what's happening to some of you, for some of you, with some of you. Okay, at the end of the day, what I was saying was that at the end of the day, if you're not sure about who you're supposed to choose or what way you're supposed to do, all you have to do is literally make a mental list or a physical list whatever is better for you and you think to yourself you know who is in my energy or which one of these people are in my energy who is violating my boundaries who's respecting my boundaries 
Who's showing me unconditional love? Who's showing that all they want to do is control me? Who is selfish? Who is self-serving? Who ghosts me? Who ignores me? Who love bombs me and then ghosts me for days because they're trying to create a trauma bond that may or not may or may not be working? Um, what I've realized in my situation is that when you're at a place of not having peace, when you're in a low vibrational place, when you're suffering very heavily from depression and anxiety, uh, it's very easy to get caught up in a trauma bond because you haven't healed those issues that cause that codependent energy. Okay. So a narcissistic person can come in very easily, very quickly and love bomb you, pull that away, love bomb you again, pull that away, love bomb you again, pull that away. By the third time, fourth time, you're hooked. It's like a drug. That person has now infiltrated your mind, emotional uh, being, and now here comes the trauma bond. Here it is. In full force, you're constantly thinking of this person. You're constantly questioning why this person isn't messaging me. Why are they ghosting me? That's because you have a codependent energy that they are vampiring. They are leeching off of. They're using to keep you, your um, energy focused on them, right? Your, their narcissistic supply is fed by your trauma bond by your codependency they love that codependency they need it because it makes them feel important it feeds their ego it makes them feel like oh, yeah i'm a stud mm -hmm. no you're an abusive prick okay so excuse my language but it's the truth okay that is an abusive tactic what makes it scary is that these people don't really they may not be self-aware enough to know that that's what they're doing. Some of them can be self-aware. Most of the time it's an innate characteristic because it is a personality disorder. Okay. So with that being said, these people don't have to try to do this. They do this by nature. This is their nature to traumatize you, love bomb you, pull it away. They have learned over time this is how they get attention from you. This is how they get what they want. They could have done this as children. They could have done this as teens. This is who they are, right? So once you have healed that codependent energy, right, and you get in contact with someone who suffers from this disorder, you're going to be able to look at it and be like, Nice try, buddy. I'm good on that. Go on about your life. I don't want to talk to you anymore, right? This person is not going to like the fact that you have healed that codependent energy. This person, because they need that constant attention from you, even if you, even if they don't give it back, you blowing up their phone, you calling them, you emailing them, whatever, showing up wherever they're at, whatever you may be doing to constantly get attention from them is feeding their ego. It's feeding their narcissism, their narcissism. Okay. So when you realize that's what it is and you heal from that and you don't feel that urge to want to message them anymore, and you don't message them anymore, they're going to be like, fuck, the jig is up. Time to go find somebody else who has codependent tendencies, right? Time to find somebody else who has self-esteem issues and depression. Time to find someone else who's going to attach onto me and be a clinger because that's what I need to film, feed my narcissism. That's what they do. But luckily for you, you're not going to care because you're going to be like that, that codependent energy is going to be healed. You're going to be like, wow, why did I never see that before? You never saw that before because you weren't healed. You were codependent. You had a trauma bond. You loved someone who took advantage of you. Period. Okay. So that's what we're focusing on now. That's what we're needing to realize now. Okay. Okay. 